Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install the guest edition of VirtualBox so that we can get some of the features which are not available out of the box like the widescreen or the full screen display as well as the support for drag and drop feature or a shared location. If you right click on this monitor icon which is the video memory icon then scroll to virtual screen 1 you can see we have a lot of resolutions which we can change for our ubuntu but they all are grayed out which means they are not available to change so let's see how we can get those resolutions and if you want to see more then just right click on the desktop and click on display settings then you can see under resolutions we have a lot of resolutions available but we will not be able to change them as long as we are not having the VirtualBox guest editions. So the first step is to turn off our Ubuntu operating system. So just power it off or shut it down. And uh, then on the VirtualBox manager, select your Ubuntu operating system and then click on settings. Then click on system tab and uh, you can just untick this floppy from here because it is not required and uh, make sure that the base memory is at least more than 4 gb this is the ram that we are talking about i have allocated 6 gb but at least make it 4 gb and also if you can increase the processor count you should do that make it at least 2 cpu or if you have more CPU to offer to your guest operating system, then you can do that for a better performance. And then click on display tab on the left side and then increase the video memory to the maximum that we can have here. That is 128 MB. All right. And also make sure that your graphics controller is VMSVGA. After that, you can just click on OK. And now we are ready to start our Ubuntu operating system. then just log in into your account all right now we have to click on this devices option in the menu bar and then click on insert guest edition cd image all right now once you click on that option you can observe that we have one mounted cd rom here now since there is no pop-up message or pop-up dialog box intimating the user that an image has been inserted, most of the time users try to click on the insert guest edition CD image option again. And in that case we get this error unable to insert the virtual optical disk because the disk image is already inserted or mounted so if we click on insert guest editions cd image it's going to give us this error so we don't have to click on insert guest editions again and again instead we just have to open up this mounted guest edition cd image and if you click on that you can see all the installation packages which are needed for the installation of virtualbox guest edition and here we have to run this file that is vbox linux editions dot run now to run it let's open our terminal so just press ctrl plus shift plus t that's going to open a new terminal then after that just type find mnt that is find mount this is going to return all the mounted objects in your ubuntu operating system and from here you can observe we have this media forward slash tanzil forward slash vbox guest edition. This is the folder that we have to access. So I will just copy this path and then write sudo and then right click and paste the path that we have copied forward slash. Then after that we have to enter the name of the file that we have to run. And the name is vbox linux editions dot run. Now make sure you write it exactly the same way I am writing. If you change the spelling, then you will not be able to run this file. All right. 
then hit enter and then enter the password for your user and then the virtual box guest edition installer is going to start installing the guest edition then at last you will get these messages this system is currently not set up to build kernel modules and please install the gcc make perl packages from your distribution all right so now let's take care of these errors so the first command that we have to enter now is sudo space apt hyphen get space update so just run it it's going to download and install the updates for the packages and dependencies of your ubuntu operating system so just let it finish installing all right then the second command that we need to run is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space build essential space gcc space make space perl then space dkms now this build essential is something like a meta package it in itself does not install anything instead it is a link to several other packages that will be installed as dependencies and then the gcc package contains the gnu compiler collection including the c and c plus plus compilers then this make converts source code into binary for the computer to read then this Perl is a high level interpreted general purpose programming language which was originally developed for text manipulation. It is quite like C. And then finally we have DKMS which stands for Dynamic Kernel Module Support which is a program or a framework that enables generating Linux kernel modules. So you don't have to get into the detail of these packages or dependencies. You can just install them. And you can see Perl is already the newest version. That means Perl is already installed. And the following additional packages will be installed. If you want, you can have a look at all the packages that will be installed on your computer. Then finally, just type Y and hit enter. And let all these packages be installed on your Ubuntu. Then once all the installation is over, we can reinstall the guest edition of VirtualBox to take care of any underlying error or problems. And for that, just use your up arrow key to scroll to the same command that we used to install guest editions. And then just hit enter. It's going to uninstall the guest edition that was installed earlier. Then it is going to do a fresh installation of the guest edition and once the installation is over the final message that we will get is running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted which means the kernel modules which are already running in the system they cannot be replaced until the system is restarted so we just have to restart our system now so for that just type reboot Then just log in into your account. And then if you right click on the display icon. And then scroll to virtual screen one. Then you can see that all the different resolutions are now available to choose. So you can choose the resolution which is the best for your display or for your monitor for me the highest resolution that i can get on my display is 1920 by 1080 so i'll just click on that all right now we have the high definition display but still we are getting this scroll bars on the x and the y axis so for that right click on the display icon once again and this time click on adjust window size and the size of the virtual box screen will be adjusted in a way that we don't have any scroll bars on x or the y axis all right and then you can right click on the desktop and then click on display settings and then from here you can see that the resolution selected is 1920 by 1002 
Now you might be wondering that we have selected 1920 by 1080 but here it's showing 1920 by 1002. It is because of the fact that we have the menu bar and the title bar on the top of our virtual machine which is taking up some of the visible area and because of that the height which is available for our virtual machine has reduced. Now to overcome this you can click on this view in the menu bar and then click on full screen mode. Now you have to remember that to exit the full screen you will have to press host plus F and the host key by default is the right control key which means you will have to press the right control plus F to exit the full screen mode later then finally just click on switch now after switching you will observe that the title bar the menu bar on the top as well as the status bar on the bottom are hidden and because of that all the available space of the screen has been given to our virtual machine and as a result the resolution that we have on our ubuntu is 1920 by 1080 that is 16 to 9 ratio so we have the highest resolution available for me so i hope you were able to get the high resolution display in your ubuntu operating system as well and if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching